There's this acronym that is grossly misused. The popular your law, that is you live once. In most cases, people use it when they want to make wrong decisions just to console themselves, that making wrong decisions responsibly. That is when someone wants to squander money or someone wants to engage in, in an obviously destructive activities. And so they use the acronym to justify a misconduct that you know what's happening? Your law, you live once. You see, on the other side, it's a very positive statement. If you say you live once just to mean that you know you need to schedule pleasure for yourself because pain will schedule itself. Life is not meant to be endured. Life is meant to be lived. And so once in a while, deliberately create your own pleasure because that is what life is meant for. You don't just be serious permanently. Once in a while, why not? Throw in some money, go and relax somewhere and the rest. If that is what you mean by the statement, profound. But I want to center on the negative use of your law. As you say you live once to, you know, make the wrong decisions, what you are forgetting is that you don't have the power to determine when you'll die. And so you thought life is short and so you can do whatever you like only to discover later on when you are 60 that you are still alive. And you squandered the time that you'd have used to build the foundation of your life when you are yellowing. You know what's happening? A time comes in life when you will be responsible whether you like it or not. Age will push you to responsibility. And that's why sometimes people look back and they look at the mud they threw on themselves in the name of your law. And so it is too late and the only thing they can do is to live with regret. I would like to share with you, especially the young people listening to me right now, everything that you're doing, please do it with moderation. Let no one format your brain and make you think that life is that short. You don't have powers to determine how long you live. That future will surely come whether you like it or not. It, it will either find you when you're prepared or it will find you with regrets in your hands. So you choose whether you will YOLO or you will build the foundation that will make you YOLO permanently. Thank you.